Packers fans are as loyal and zealous as they come. Brett, you're looking good today. Hiya! They can be found all over the country and around the world. Some even look like Packers. I think we're related somewhere down the line. We must be, right? Yeah, we got yeah, to. Yeah. So good looking, look at this right here. But only one person has the distinction of being the most remote Packer backer in the U.S. He lives on the Hawaiian island of Maui, at the end of the famous 34-mile scenic route known as the Road to Hana. Somewhere past Charles Lindbergh's grave and the seven sacred pools, after the 400th terrifying cliffside turn, out of the blue, you'll see it, a sign that seems out of place in this isolated tropical paradise. This is the home of Vance Pooh, Hawaiian Packers fan. Every day there'll be at least five to 10 cars that'll stop, take pictures, or yell random, go Packers. There's been a few times where we've been in the garage watching a game and guys have walked in just off the street. Hey, what's the score? How's it going? We're Packer fans too. Next thing you know, they're having lunch with us or having a few beers with us, sitting down, watching the rest of the game. The NFC Championship game, we had a whole tour bus come through. And for some reason, majority of the people on there were Packer fans. They all came in and watched the worst five minutes of football <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's a fake job. So how does someone who lives over 4,000 miles from the frozen tundra become such a devoted fan? My mom, Beverly, grew up in a little town called Two Creeks, so maybe 20 miles outside of Green Bay. Back in the 60s when the Packers were at their apex. And the Green Bay Packers are going to be NFL champions for the third straight year. My mom, she's a school teacher, came to Hawaii to do a class at UH in Oahu, and they met a girl from Hana. So they became friends. Her friends was like, let's go back to Hana. I'll show you the most beautiful place on the planet. So my mom came here, fell in love with the place, got a job teaching at Hana High School, and met my dad, who was a Hana boy. Lived there all his life and had me, and then that was it. She just recently passed, but to her last day, she was a Packer fan. If you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alley. I was told stories from her about how great the Packers were. Hands off to Honey, sweep to the left side, cuts into the end zone for the touchdown. She was trick or treat and Max McGee went knocking on his door and he came out, just underwear on, <laughs> handed out some candy to the girls and they thought that was the greatest thing ever. For most fans, meeting Max McGee in his skivvies would be the most intimate encounter you could have. But thanks to the Packers crews, Beverly Pooh became close to many players over the years. Rogers was on one of them, actually, when he was still backing up far. Greg Jennings, she kept in contact with him through email, so it was kind of cool. Hey, they're just regular people like us. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Beverly's Packers passion lives on through her son and his family. Well, when we first dated, he said every Sunday, we have to watch football. You know, and then my dad got on board. My dad is a diehard Green Bay Packer fan now. Who is your favorite player? I like Clay Matthews. Who's your favorite player? Um, Aaron, what is his name? You have to on your shirt. Um, no, she's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Before Beverly passed away, she gave her loved ones a gift they would never forget. My mom, it was my mom who decided, like, let's go to a Packer game. He has never been to one, so she got all our tickets to Lambeau. We saw a Detroit game, and they won. It was unreal. Throw to the left side. He's got a man wide open. Down the sidelines for the Packers. Into the clear it is James Jones. Touchdown. 83 yards. That picture's taken in front of my mom's cousin's house in Michicot, Wisconsin. The day after the game, we stopped by to say hi. Going back home and you know, just watching her relive her childhood a little bit was kind of cool to see. If you're ever on the island of Maui, 
Take the road to Hana and look for the Packers sign. It may be a long journey, but well worth the trip. There are some nice folks there who would love to share the spirit of aloha with you. I mean, as much as we're Packer fans, we're also simple Hawaiians down to earth. Come on by if it's a Sunday or a Monday night, you can have a few beers and <laughs> eat some lunch or dinner. Yay. Go Pack Go. Yay, one more time. Go Pack Go. Go, go Pack Go. <laughs>